All right, for this uh, hard woodsman, I'm going to navigate to a spot that I haven't been. I'm going to leave an item, and then I'll come back for it in a few weeks. Uh, the, uh, the, the area that I'm exploring is a piece of Alamuchi State Park that I have not been to. I'm starting at this prominent pond here, and I'm going to follow this line of travel to these pools over here. Check out this water source. Uh, so I had my map oriented to north. I figured out my bearing was approximately, uh, it was, well, 250 degrees southwest, and then I added 12 for the declination, so I'll be heading 260 to 62 degrees southwest to reach these pools where I'll leave, uh, leave something that I can pick up later on. So we're making some progress. Uh, the elevation has dropped a bit. So... I think we're about halfway. This is cool on the way. Uh, this is a great plant, a swamp uh, wetland indicator plant called marsh marigold. A lot of places where I live are getting overrun by uh, an invasive that looks similar called lesser celandine. So it's neat to come out into this forest and still see these uh, native species thriving. Growing next to the skunk cabbage. And then there's some false hellbore hidden in here, too. Making good progress, but uh, I chose a route right through a swamp. So I like, uh, I like swamp walking, that's fun. There's a lot of cool stuff to look around at. But uh, taking a little bit of time. If I wanted to get there fast, I should have taken a route around the, uh, the wetland indicated on the map. Uh, so let me show you, show you what we're walking through. Pretty mucky. So I'm just kind of stepping over these hummocks and making my way through. Some little bits of horsetail coming up. Here we go. I was waiting to run into a turtle or a snake. Boy, this is a beautiful box turtle. Incredible orange on there. I'm not sure you guys can see that. This turtle has got some bright orange on its skin. That is one healthy, full-size box turtle. They are so good at closing up in that shell, nothing can get to them. Look at that, you see how, how well that shell closes up? That bottom's the plastron in the two pieces there. Top is the carapace. And of course, that's why they call them box turtles, because they can just seal up like a box. Nothing's getting in there. Wow. All right, we found the first pool. This should be the bigger pool, and then there'll be a smaller one, uh, just another 100 feet or so over this uh, hillside. Yep, right down here is the smaller pool. Here's the smaller pool. Hot day, it's probably hitting about 70 degrees right now. Uh, and I've got my item, I've got a little ET that I'm gonna leave here. I just wanna find a uh, secret little spot. Okay, I found a spot. Right at the base of this tree here. I've got ET, the extraterrestrial. Gonna cover them up a little bit just to be extra safe. I don't think anybody's coming out this way, but better to have it hidden. And uh, I'll be back for you, little guy, in a couple weeks. There we go. Right between these two rocks in the crack of the tree. Even with bug spray on my pants. Look at this. Well, I'm going to flick this tick off, get a reverse bearing, and uh, get out of here. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I have uh, E.T., the extraterrestrial, he's uh, hidden away uh, in the crack of a tree. And uh, I'm going to get a reverse bearing, turn back around, head back, and I'll see you in about two weeks uh, where I come back and I'll pick up E.T., uh, following the same course.
All right, I'm back for the second part of the Hard Woodsman's Challenge. My dog Ollie is with me again. Uh, I, uh, I checked my map. I, I did record the, uh, the bearing. It's 262 degrees southwest, so I'm going to follow my compass uh, 0.8 mile, um, you know, setting bearings along the way and uh, walking through this, this thick forest. Clearly you can see that it's no longer early spring. Now it's, uh, it's getting closer to summertime. So uh, it's going to be thick. I'm going to have to set a lot of bearings, but, uh, but I'm sure I'll find E.T. right where I left him. This is that same spot that had all the skunk cabbage and the marsh marigold. All thick now. Here's that first vernal pool. So we'll walk past this one and go a little up the hill and uh, find the second one. Okay. There's the pool, mostly dried up. And E.T. should be hiding right in there. Let's see. There he is. Yes. E.T. There and back. All right, a few too many mosquitoes here to show you the map and compass and the reverse bearing, but I just swapped it around, switched it going backwards. I was going 262 degrees southwest. Now I'm going to go uh, 82 degrees northeast to, to make my way back, and I'll take uh, E.T. with me.